pretty sure that you guys are a little bit more comfortable with navigating, adding objects and moving objects in, in Blender. Um, so now we want to challenge ourselves a little bit more. Um, so I want us to actually start modeling an asset. So I've just created a, a, a file or a project with your a front view of a building, a simple building and the side view of the building. So we want to use these image plane as reference points, almost as if we're going to be tracing um, the lines or creating, tracing our, our 3D object according to the lines um, on our image plane. Okay, so um, still under your shared drives, and um, we've done task one, we're moving on to task two. Um, I want you guys to download this file, which is task two and um, blend all the hotkeys and shortcuts that we'll be touching on during this tutorial would all be um, on this um, PDF brief that I've created for you guys. Um, so use that as a reference point alongside of the tutorial um, if you are um, if you forgot anything or if you want to just go back on some of the points that we mentioned. Alright, so we want to add a object so we can click on shift A and the first thing that we want to do um, under your meshes we want to find the mesh which is the closest um, resembling mesh to our image plane it doesn't have to be exactly the same but it just it helps us um, model much more efficiently so I wouldn't really use a sphere to start off with a building um, because there's so much um, points and things that I'll have to move around for sphere. So the simplest thing to start off with um, for this uh, for this um, asset would be a cube. So I want to quickly click on cube. So I've added my cube, and now we want to just understand um, how to navigate around here. Um, some people choose to model within the perspective views and um, looking at it from this angle if you're comfortable and competent and um, we can easily much do that um, alternatively you can snap to a particular um, viewpoint so if I want to if I look on my 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 number pad so remember your keyboard your keypad is separated into two sections um, on the left hand side you have your keyboard which is where your letters are then you have numbers on top of those letters. Then you have your number pad, which is on the right of the screen. Um, those num numbers um, are different. The shortcut keys for number one on top of the keypad is different from your number pad number one. All right, so if you just explore what the different numbers do in your, your number pad. So if I click on number one, it snaps to the front view. Number three is your side view, seven, top, and a nine is the opposite, which is the bottom. Um, so those are the three hotkeys that can allow us to navigate that viewpoint. Click on five to snap, or click on five to snap to the bottom. And what you can do to snap out of the viewpoint is hold down your middle mouse and just rotate out of it. So if I'm in my front view, I can just rotate out of out of that viewpoint. Um, but we want to use the front view, so we're looking head on onto onto our image plane and our our cube. So my the cube right now is transparent. So we have turned on the X-ray toggle mode. So it just helps us look through the object, and we can see the image plane at the back at, at the back. So if I click on X-ray toggle mode, I can I can still see the image plane, and I can see the the mesh actually form. Okay, alternatively, um, you can always um, hold down shift and the middle mouse button to actually snap it. So if I move, if I hold down shift and move it down, I'm snapping it to the front view, shift and left or right, and shift, left, slapping it to the side view. You can use that as a shortcut key, which if you find that much more easier. All right, so I'll just work in the front view. I've added an object. And now we want to go on to our different section. We've, we touched upon it. Um, so we want to go to edit mode. So like I mentioned in the previous tutorial, edit mode allows us to actually edit um, our mesh. So the reason why I would want to edit it, so if I toggle between tab, um, you'll see that you have this 
drop down list. So these are all the tools that you'll be using to model your object. So right now it's on object mode, so I can just move it around, go back into edit mode, and I have more options of tools so I can um, edit this mesh. So we have our faces, we have our edges, and we have our face. Um, I mean, our we have our vertex, our face, um, vertex, our edges, and our faces. And um, so to toggle between that is a shortcut key one two three goes between those three um goes between those three modes all right so i want to click on one on the key, on top of the keypad and what i want us to do i want to start modeling this object so as a starting point i would just model this chimney it's quite a simple shape um oh this whole the, the image is quite straightforward and simple um so i'll just kind of break down the image into separate parts and add different objects as as I as I begin to complete this this um, mesh or this model so what I want us to do what I want to do first is I'll probably just move click on G move my my whole mesh to somewhere close to the chimney and I'll probably select shifts um, shift select these edges or these vertex here so the reason why it's more convenient to shift select is right now on the front view once i shift selected it selected the back points as well um, but let's say if i had my my x-ray turned off and i went back onto my front view and i selected i shift selected the same way um, Click on my toggle view. It looks like I've selected everything, but if I go back onto my perspective, it's only selected the front two points. Um, so we want to select both of them. If I just chose the front points and I started moving it, it will start to disalign my 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 vertex and my edges, and that just causes more work for yourself later on when you when you need to edit because things are not in line. So. Want to make sure that you want to reduce the amount of work that you do when you are modeling. All right, so I'll shift select, move my points uh, down there. Cool. And what I'll do is just move that up. So it doesn't have to be exact at this point, but we're just wanting to get as close as possible. Okay. So, um, the first tool, well, let's do the side view as well. almost forgot about that. So I'll shift select, click on G. Um, so right now I'm just moving it, but if I want to just have a more controlled move, I'll click on G and I can click on Y, which allows me to actually just move along the, along the axis. So I'll click on G. Oh, snap. Let me undo that. So I'll select it, click on G and Y, so now I can move it down there. I can select it, or I can just click on middle mouse, or I'll click on G and middle mouse, drag it along the Y axis. So there's two ways of doing that. All right, that snapped out again. Let me just move that in. So G, move that in. Okay, so the first tool that we want to use um, is down here. Um, it's an extrude tool. It's a very popular tool when you when it comes to modeling. So you'll be extruding um, things out. So extruding is basically converting a 2D plane into a 3D object. So if I want to con convert this face into a 3D object, I'll be I'll select that face and I'll pull that out. And as I pull that out, it's, it's going to create um, um, some extra faces along the side. So if I go back into my face mode, I can click on that so you can see what I'm talking about. I can click on extrude, which is that icon, or I can click on E, which is the hotkey for extrude. And if I pull this up, so as I'm pulling this 2D face, it's creating a 3D, a 3D, um, it's creating these extra faces here. So it's actually creating a 3D um, object. So, 
I'll quickly extrude that out. I'll click on G. Uh, then what we'd want to do um, is to use a loop cut, which is another tool. So if you select on this icon, it says loop cut. So loop cut um, adds more subdivisions to your mesh. So you want to apply loop cut sparingly. You only need to apply it to where you need a cut or you want to move an object. Um, the, the least amount of cuts um, to actually form an object at the beginning whilst you're still finding the base shape kind of reduces your workload um, so you don't have to move multiple points or be confused with all different points. Um, so the more the more you start modeling the the more um, more aware of how much how much um, subdivisions or loop cuts or sub or yeah how much subdivisions will be in your work. So for now what I want to do is just um, subdivide this chimney so I can have this line there. Um, so you have the loop cut or control R is a shortcut key. Now you have this yellow um, pre uh, like pre-selection um, indication. So as I move it along the mesh it, it just says do I want to um, create a loop cut along the vertical line or I mean the vertical line or the horizontal line. X, uh, the Y axis or along the X axis. So what I want us to do, I want to actually create a loop cut along this axis right at the top. And if I had multiple um, cuts that I wanted to apply, um, I would just scroll up on my mouse and it adds more subdivisions. Um, but since I only want to add one, I'm not going to add much. So I'll just confirm that, that by left clicking. Then it's going to ask us where do you want to position um, the cut. So I want to obviously match it up to the image and I'll confirm that. Alright, so now I'm happy with that. So all I'll need to do is go back into one which is my face, I mean my vertex, and I'll just scale scale that up so it's matching the image and all I'll do is just move these points up there. Yeah. So I'll move that down. All right, so you'll have something which looks like that. Okay, so I know most chimneys have like a hollow, um, or it's like it, there's a beveled um, section at the top. So we want to create something similar to that as well. So we go on to three, which is our face mode. I'm gonna click on our face. And now we want to go back to the tool that we used to actually create the top section, but we want to create a hole with it. So this is not the only way, but it's one of the ways that you can create um, uh, like a, a boolean or a, a hole feature within your mesh. So we want to click on um, the extrude icon, which is E, which is the hotkey. Um, I don't want to pull it up at this point. So I'm just going to click on E, leave the mouse at it as it is, and I'll click on S, which is to scale it. So I want to scale it inwards. So without moving it up, I just want to scale it in, and I'll confirm that. All right. So if I go back to my front view or my side view, there hasn't, there isn't any dent, or there's, there isn't any changes that you can see. Um, the only time you can see it is when it's at the top, which is what we want. Then we want to extrude it in, so I'll click on E again. Now I'll move my mouse in, so I want to move that in so I can create with a click on toggle. So now I have that chimney hollowed edges feel to it. All right. Okay. So I'm happy with that for now. I'm um, obviously. You guys can you, you can pick and choose how you want to approach and uh, modeling this this um, image, but to be honest, those are the main tools that you'll be using. You'll be using um, you'll add an object, and um, so bear in mind you don't want to add an object whilst you're in edit mode because if you're in edit mode, the object would be added onto your existing mesh. 
um, then you can still separate it but it's it's more of work for yourself so if you want to add another object so let's say you're done with the chimney maybe you want to add the roof and you want to go back onto your object mode you don't want to be in edit mode go back onto your object mode then you want to add so we'll go back shift a and we'll add another object or another mesh so we'll add a cube and then we'll start to model out that cube so it's you'll be still doing you'll be subdividing with your loop cuts um, which is control r which is the shortcut key or you have your loop cut icon down here under your edit mode then you'll extrude um, which is to pull a 2D 2D face and make it a 3D um, object um, which is this shortcut key to extrude a region um, or you can click on E so what I want to do um, either I'll fast forward this and I'll quickly complete um, modeling modeling um, this building but um, I'll kind of stop here and there to talk about different ways of modeling different assets um, but I'll, I'm just going to be using the same tools um, throughout just to model this building so I'll allow you guys to get on with that um, and yeah we'll continue in the next part